we're going to be looking at Dodrio here. And Dodrio is a Pokemon that I think a lot of people sleep on. But I think in terms of pure flying types, Dodrio is probably the best flying type in the game. Because, like, Zapdos doesn't get any flying attacks. Dragonite doesn't get any flying attacks. Uh, P Mega Pidgeot costs your Mega Slot. This thing gets flying attacks and that huge jump kick. So, like, you're really good against those rock types. Uh, and you can just Swords Dance up. It gets that huge Thrash, gets Taunt. I love Dodrio. Such a cool Pokemon. Amazing speed tiering. So the way we're actually going to want to play Dodrio is like huge, all-in aggression, speed king demons all the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Aerodactyl on the team. We are going to put the Electrode on the team. And Electrode and Dodrio go very, very well together. They go very, very well together. Because Electrode's weakness is ground. Dodrio's a flying type. So we got these three super fast. We got super fast. Uh, we have two ice weaknesses. We have two electro weaknesses. And we have two rock weaknesses. So we cannot have any more of those. If anything, we need to start mitigating some of that damage. I would like something. All right. If you're going to go all speedy, would you have to counter a trick room? There's no trick room in this game. There's no trick room in this game. You don't want to go alone Raichu. Um, this is a singles team, by the way, guys. Yeah, you don't go double electric. It's really bad. I need a solid lead Pokemon that's a really good pivot versus... Like, Starmie could work here, right? Starmie could work here, but I don't want Starmie. So we're looking for Pokemon with no Ice Weakness, no Rocks Weakness, and no Ice Weakness that is not super slow. I like the way you think, Reggae Rebel. It's almost like you play the game. Eevee's an amazing pick. Now, the problem with Eevee, there's, so Jinx has weakness to rocks. The only problem with Eevee, there's one problem. Every single time I use Eevee in a team building video, every single person's like, I don't have the Eevee version. What Pokemon do I use if I don't have Eevee? They say it every time. <laughs> I got two of the comments on it every video. <laughs> and so I'm going to announce this. I always have to do the comment. If you don't have an Eevee, you can use these things you can use a snorlax snorlax is like a worst eevee most of the time because what are you doing with eevee you're gonna go with the buzzy buzz snorlax you go for the body slam you gotta hit the body slam and go for the 30 percent chance para but it's roughly the same thing snorlax also has a lot more damage whereas he's a lot more supportive you don't want to go snorlax a lot of the other times you can go something like mew and uh Fl flareon has weaknesses that before and before and both have the weaknesses to things that we're trying to not have weaknesses to copy tops not as a special attacker but it's pretty fast and dodges rock and ice weaknesses but it has electric weakness like i just said we have no weaknesses to electric rock or ice electric rock ice eevee works here eevee is a good pick eevee is actually by far the best pick here um but the thing is like if you want to use if you don't have eevee you can use snorlax if you don't want to use snorlax you can use mew if you don't want to use Mew or Snorlax, like, Dragonite has weaknesses to rock and ice. <laughs> like, you got, you, you, you're trying too hard. Jinx has weaknesses to rocks. You're killing the mood, my guy. You're killing it. Steel type. Um, steel types are okay, but, like, there are no steel types that are fast. Remember, we want a Pokemon that isn't slow. Eevee is just, just fast enough to be not slow. Tauros, we used Tauros in the last video. And we're already, like, Eevee's, a better, Eevee's better than Tauros in this team. Eevee's a lot better than Tauros. Because it gives us, like I said, the whole reason we're using Eevee is I said I wanted a lead. Like, a, an off lead. Because, like, it's, we're going to want to go, like, Aerodactyl Electrode a lot of the time. And uh, if we don't go, like, Electrode, uh, Alakazam, or Primate, Eevee's really, really good at dealing with things like Aerodactyl. Uh, Mew is another option that I highly recommend for people to use instead of Eevee. Uh, but a lot of people don't have Mew as well because it's, like, dated so, behind So, like I said, Dojo plus. brings the table that 110 base speed being a flying normal. Uh, you have, res like, you have immunities to things like Ghost. You have immunities to things like Ground. So, start to look at our team. What are some of our weaknesses here? Ground, immune, Ghost, immune. Huh. It's almost like that's pretty good. A more Ghost immunity. Hmm. That seems pretty good. So, uh, yeah, Dodrio is really, really good, and we're going to look at uh, its nature, its moves, its items, and stuff like that. Double Mew is just premium. It is good. You always want to double up on the things that you need to succeed. You always want to have multiple ways to win in bad matchups. Like, let's say I lose a normal type, 
like a lot of the time. I always have a second one to switch on that shadow. Jolly ball. Dodrio. Remember, this thing has that 110 base speed, really, really good. Uh, outspeeds things like all the Charizards. Uh, that's like base 100s. Uh, outspeeds obviously common things like Dragonite, Gyarados. Super outspeed. Outspeeds things like, uh, you know, Starmies that are modest natures. You outspeed with this thing. Outspeeds. Let's see. Zapdos gets outsped. So many Pokemon get outsped by this thing. It's very, very good. You speed tie with Gengar. Like, ain't no slouch speed tie and Gengar. So, uh, Jolly, you kind of need to be Jolly. Uh, and so the reason we have Jolly is so we can go for Sword Stance. It's going to be able to double our attack. It's so good. It's one of the few Sword Stance Pokemon in the game. I think it's the fastest Sword Stance user in the game. This is like the fastest Pokemon. Does it outspeed Straptor? It does. Straptor actually has... Straptor's not in the game. Um, but Straptor is base 100 versus Dodrio is 110. So yeah, we do outspeed Dodrio. We, out we do outspeed Straptor. So we have Sword Stance. We're actually using Thrash. And a lot of people probably think Thrash is bad. That's 120 base, guys. 120. Think of all the good moves in the game, like Thunder, Fire Blast, Blizzard. Those are 110s. This is a 120. 120 base off of a Swords Dancing Pokemon. Like, you have the ability late game. If you send this out when your opponent has, like, a Muck or, like, a Sleeper Pokemon or, like, a Pokemon that can't one-shot you right back, you're going to Swords Dance and you're going to Thrash and you're going to kill... Like, if you guys think Outrage Dragonite's good, this thing is going to tear you a new one. It's really, really good versus Venusaur. You can be Outspeed. Drill Peck checks Venusaur. Uh, jump Kick after a Swords Dance is going to do huge damage to, like, Rock types and stuff like that. This thing has amazing, perfect, so good coverage, and more people need to use this Pokemon because it's actually really, really, really good because Dodrio is amazing. Yep, Stab 120. It's strong. It's strong. So, yeah, we're going to go into Aerodactyl, and uh, I've been using this moveset for a little while, and I was talking with someone in one of my YouTube comment videos where they say on, like, the Smog on Ladders where all the real people play... People aren't using Stealth Rocks and Aerodactyl anymore, and they've decided to cut Stealth Rocks for Crunch, and they, they've just now started using Wing Attack. And so, like, I'm kind of on the cutting edge. Like, I'm I'm hip to what people are doing. I think Wing Attack is a good move on Aerodactyl. I've been saying that for a while, especially if you're going to go Mega. If you're ever going to go Mega Aerodactyl, Wing Attack is very, very good. But I still can't see a, a world where, like, Crunch is better than Stealth Rock. And so I still think that Stealth Rock is so much better. Crunch doesn't one-shot things, even if you're Mega. Maybe if you have Stealth Rocks... But, like, how are you going to get the Stealth Rocks up if you can't set them with the best Stealth Rock setter in the game? So, I still think that Stealth Rock's good, but I do not think that you need Taunt anymore. Uh, if I wasn't using Wing Attack, I'd probably be using something like Sub or Roost. I might even have, like, a weird other coverage move like Reflect or something like that. But this move set's really, really good. It shows a lot of common weaknesses with Dodrio. But they kind of play, like, poor opposites to each other. It's like a... It's trash day or something outside my house. It's super loud. But yeah, so like while Dodrio has like the really big single target moves like Thrash, Drill Peck, Jump Kick, stuff like that. Uh, really good versus, you know, Grass types. Really good versus Rock types. This thing's really good versus like Flying types and Bug types and Fire types. So the two play a very similar play style but have like very different uh, things that they're good against. So if you happen to like lose one early... I wouldn't really sweat it because you always have the option to send another one out. And again, this is always jolly. Always jolly. 130 base. And we are going to be mega a lot with this guy in this matchup. So next up, we got uh, Electrode. One of my, you know, favorites. Love seeing Electrodes every time to pop up in chat. We got Timid. We've tweaked the moveset uh, as we've started using the Pokemon. This is still a Pokemon that does like to use the Taunt. I think this is the best and only Taunt user in the game that you need to have Taunt on 100% of the time. Uh, Thunder Wave Premium. Fastest Pokemon in the game. So you're always going to be able to send this thing out, use a Thunder Wave. Foul play is really good on this thing because it makes so if like if they think I'm in a thunder and they want to switch to something like a low and Doug trio or like a Nitto King or something like that. Foul play does a lot of damage and also foul play is really really good versus Mewtwo's. Mewtwo's have such high base Uber stats that when you foul play them, their attack stat is just so high that even if they're like Mewtwo Y or regular Mewtwo, they take like anywhere between like 65 and like 85 percent from a foul play. And so if they're taking rocks damage, that you can KO them. Or, like, you can just two-shot them and they can't two-shot you. It's so good. Like, I really do like foul play. Also, foul play can't miss. And then, last but not least, you know I like packing that Thunder over Thunderbolt. Just my little personal preference. A little bit of swag on there. And so, we have Alakazam here. And uh, I know I've used Alakazam in a couple of team-building videos recently. But I do think that Alakazam is a very good Pokemon in this team. I note that we've kind of switched up the moveset. Uh, normally, I like to see Calm Mind, Shadow Ball, Psychic recover. And so, it makes us be able to trade and set up uh, on Pokemon like Lapras, on Pokemon like Blastoise. Uh, on Pokemon that just can't have big damage against us. Like, it just lets us wall special attackers. A wall with nine tails, regular nine tails, stuff like that. You just wall them out, recover, call them mine, spam, set up, and you're easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I think Dazzling is actually pretty good because I'm starting to see a lot more Gyarados. And, uh, you know, 
instead of not being able to do like anything to Mega Gyarados, it's really cool to be able to deal like 35% to a Mega Gyarados with Dazzling Gleam. So we're going to be testing Dazzling Gleam when we do test this team. And uh, I think it's actually pretty good. Like it's also pretty decent against Muck. Like being able to do some damage is sometimes the difference between winning the game and losing it. So we're going to test Dazzling Gleam. It's time. Talking about taunts, uh, I think this is another decent taunt user. Because Primate, while not amazing, uh, this is a taunt user that stops Stealth Rocks. Like, Electrode, for example, if we go back to Electrode, right? If What's using Stealth Rocks? Um, you know, let's think about it. What's using Stealth Rocks? Aerodactyl? Like, Rhydon? Golem? Those are some common Stealth Rock setters, right? Nidoqueen? Nidoking? Dugtrio? All the things that have Earthquake. If I taunt them, they can just Earthquake me and I get KO'd. If Primate uses it, though, they Earthquake me and I live. And then I can U-turn out or Ice Punch them back next turn. So this is a pseudo-safe way to stop the Stealth Rocks. And the thing about Primate is there's not really another move to put here. Like, I could put Brick Break or, like, Low Sweep or something like that. But, like, Taunt's the best move in this situation. Prime has 95 base speed brewing and Jolly Primate. I've actually used Primate a little bit recently. And, uh... I just like this Pokemon. Very, very solid Pokemon. Good U-turn user. Uh, Ice Punch is there to hit things like Zapdos, Dragonite, Aerodactyl, and uh, Earthquake. Great Pokemon late game for coming in and cleaning up things like Nidoking, because uh, you're going to outspeed those. Clean up things like Alolan Muck. Primus a great Pokemon, and it definitely does deserve more use. It's like a it's like a very different Polyrath. That's kind of how I'm looking at this Pokemon. It's like a more support-based Polyrath, and that's the way I like to use it. So a Polyrath without that big... Uh, you know, grass and electric weakness. It's pretty good. So we have Eevee, and this is the Eevee set you've seen me use for a while now. Um, obviously, the Buzzy Buzz Sizzle side, those are premium. Balancey Bubble makes it so we can lead really well against, like, Aerodactyls and uh, Rhydon's Golems, what have you. And Glitzy Glow just to do the, like, screen. Just to put up a nice screen, like, mid to late game. It's super good. It's great for doing that finishing blow. A lot of times with Eevee, you'll get them to, like, 10-15%, and you're like, well, like, I could Balancey Bubble, but I don't want to reveal it. Or, like, why Sizzly side? I've used Sizzly side 10 times. Go for just a glitzy go, and you get a free light screen. It's pretty good. And, uh, you know, with Eevee, I always say, like, if you can't use Eevee, you can use a Snorlax. If you don't use Snorlax, uh, you can use a Mew. If you don't use any of those, and you don't have a ton of Stealth Rocks weaknesses, you can use a Dragonite. They all have very similar play styles. You know, the Thunder Wave recovery Pokemon. That's kind of the way I'm using Eevee here. And I think Eevee's actually a pretty good addition to this team, because it gives us another way to leave versus Aerodactyl. Like, let's, see, let's say we take this into the team preview, right? And their team is a uh, Pikachu. How's it going? It's going great going absolutely great let's see if we go right into the team preview and right off the bat they're bored they have an aerodactyl that you know they want to leave with they see that dodrio they're like i can beat that they see that aerodactyl and there's these players they always leave their aerodactyl and they're like i will just win the speed tie against your aerodactyl and you don't always want to take that risk what if you need your aerodactyl to finish off the rest of their team you can't just spot your aerodactyl and lose it to a miss rock slide speed tie situation they see electro they're like i'll just win the speed tie earthquake and it's fine they see alakazam they're like well like i could one shot it with crunch because they're bad and they see Primus being like, eh, Primus is kind of weird, but like, I probably have wing attack, so I'm fine. Eevees, you're out in that situation. You can, uh, like, think of a situation where leading Eevee is bad. I can't even think of one. Every single lead in the game, maybe like Chansey, Eevee's not that great. Eevee's good against literally every single lead in the game. You could always lead Eevee and not be behind. You're solid. You, like, if I lead Eevee and they lead a Machamp, I'ma burn it. You know, I'll live and then I'll switch. Or they lead a special attacker, I'm going to paralyze it. I'm going to put up a screen. And if they lead a stealth rock setter, I'm going to, you know, use my bouncy bubble and go up to full and get that one-hit KO. Like, Eevee's really, really good. It brings the whole team together. And I think it was Rega Rebel that recommended it. Very, very good recommendation. That's one of the reasons we actually do stream these live instead of just doing them as videos. Is because sometimes people have really, really good insight. So I'm always open to insight. And stuff I actually like think that. that's the best that we do. Right? Like, I think that that's pretty good. Because, um, like, we really want them to tunnel on the fact that, like, that's our team. It's like the Dodrio Aerodactyl. It's like, hey, bring your electrics, bring your ice, bring your rocks. And I'm going to bring this. I'm going to bring Eevee. I'm going to bring Electrode. You can fight those. One good thing about this team is we have such high speed turning. This is probably one of the fastest teams in the game. We have 130 base Aerodactyl, 110 base Dodrio, 150 base Electrode, 120 base Alakazam with the potential to, to go 150. We have Eevee. Ain't no slouch, you know? We have Primate, base 95 Jolly. Like, this team is fast like you've seen me use a lot of like defensive teams this team is like super hyper aggression let's talk about how it deals with the big three the big three being melmetal mewtwo aerodactyl we already talked about an aerodactyl matchup eevee has that on lock um let's talk about melmetal uh electrodes not bad alakazam i could do better <laughs> primate 
Earthquake's doing 20-30%. Um, Aerodactyl, 20-30%. I think with Melmetal, unless we actually get into a situation where he lets us burn him with Eevee, so he has to be kind of bad. Um, and Melmetal's going to trade one for two every time. So if they only have one Melmetal, we have to trade one for two. I think it's okay. What would I do in a Trick Room situation? There's no Trick Room in this game. That's the second time people have asked this question. But I also have two Taunters. There's no Trick Room, though. There's no Trick Room. I have nothing to worry about at all. You, you can go Hyper Aggression and be fine. Um, last but not least, he got the Mewtwo matchup. And Mewtwo matchup is very, very easy. Uh, Aerodactyl can outspeed. Um, Electrode outspeeds. Thunder Waves. Foul Plays, we already talked about that. Alexam actually wins against Mewtwo a lot of the time. If they come in after you have a common, you just win. Eevee's good against it. Prime is good bait. So it's actually really good against those. Uh, against Zapdos. Our team's really good against Zapdos. Like Alakazam, uh, Aerodactyl are amazing. Prime of outspeeds. Uh, Prime of outspeeds like modest Zapdos or bulky Zapdos. They have to be timid or jolly to outspeed. Electro's really good against Zapdos. Uh, Dragonite, we got Ice Punchers. Uh, Dodrio totally outspeeds. We have a Swords Dance. Like Thrall or Thrash will just one shot a Dragonite. Uh, Aerodactyl's good against it. So it's really, really good. So yeah, Eevee's moves are Eevee specific moves. So these are moves that only Eevee gets in this game. So Buzzy Buzz is a 90 base move, 100% chance para. The Sizzly Slide is, is a fire move, 90 base damage, 100% chance burn. 90, or this one is a recovery. It's like a Mega Drain. It's like a water Mega Drain. It's really good, 90 base Mega Drain. And this is a, this is a 90 base move that pops a white screen. It's very, very good. It's a completely different format. Only Joe and Pokemon, but with newer limited moves. Yep, it's like the best of both worlds. But there's also no uh, EVs in this game. There's no items. Uh, there's no abilities. It's very, very bare bones, like someone was saying earlier. But I do think this team is very good. Uh, deals with the big three against Alola Muck, for example. Let's just keep going. Talk about some Pokemon. We have multiple Earthquake users, and our Alex Sam is even packing, like, tech moves. Also, if we get... Uh, also, this EV has, like, boosted stats because it's a partner. But, like, it's actually really, really good. Our team is pretty good against Muck. Let's talk about other Pokemon. Uh, Venusaur. We got a freaking Dodrio. And we have, like, Wing Attack Aerodactyl and an Alakazam. Like, Venusaur is a really good Pokemon that a lot of people use. This Pokemon, this team tears Venusaur up. Like, every single one of my Pokemon wants to fight Venusaur. That's amazing. Uh, Snorlax. We got Jump Kick Dodrio. Like, what's he going to do? You know? We have Primeape, too. Like, it's so good. Um, let's talk about other really common Pokemon that could be problems. Uh, Polygrath and Machamp. Dodrio. Good team. Like, I'm going to probably use this team... Uh, relatively soon. So hopefully you like the Dodrio team. Uh, you know, like I said, the way we do these streams is anyone that like pops resubs or gift subs or donations or bits or stuff like that gets to pick the team. And I actually really, really like the Dodrio pick. So thank you for picking it. Hope you like it. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty good one.